Okay, so let's uh, now talk about Kurno Duopoly game. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, again I'll give you the demand function, okay, and then you have to figure out the best response function, okay. So suppose the demand function, inverse demand function, is max of 12 minus q comma zero, and firms choose q1 and q2. To maximize profit, uh, let's assume that the cost function is zero. Recall that in order to find the best response function, so BR one Q two, okay, it consists of it's a set of solutions. Is a set of solutions to this problem, maximize with respect to Q one, the profit of firm one. Okay, so what is the profit of firm one? Max max of 12 minus Q1 minus Q2, comma zero. That's the price times the quantity minus the cost, which is zero. So you just have to maximize this. Okay, and you can choose any non-negative quantity. Okay. Okay, so do this problem. Okay, so Okay, what you got is uh, partially correct. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, there's no problem in what you have done. Okay, the only thing is that it's not complete. Okay, so if you are interested in finding the best response, okay, uh, notice that we have this function here, okay, which is a max of 12 minus Q1 minus Q2 comma zero, okay, uh, which you need to take into account fully, okay. So what does this function say? This function says that if Q1 plus Q2 is going to be greater than 12, then the price will be zero. And in that case, your revenue will be zero. Okay. And if Q1 plus Q2 is less than 12, then the price will be positive. Okay. So we have to think in those lines and then figure out what our Nash equilibrium and basically what our best response functions are. Okay. So now one thing i mean of course we can plot this and then do it okay uh, but let's just see if we can just do this without even plotting it okay so so what i'm going to do is i'm going to consider two cases one case is q2 is greater than or equal to 12 because that's the possibility right i mean if firm 2 chooses higher than 12 then uh, you know what should i do okay Notice that if firm chooses higher than 12, then no matter what you do, your revenue will always be zero because this term will be zero. Do you agree? Yes or no? Okay, so in that case, everything is the best response. Okay, and if Q2 is less than 12, in that case, if you see, uh, well, then I, I have an option to choose more than 12 minus Q2. So basically, if I choose more than 12 minus Q2, then I'm, I'll end up making the revenue zero. Okay, uh, but can I do better? Yes, I can because if I if I choose Q1 smaller than 12 minus Q2, okay, then this term will be positive, and this will be positive. So I'll make positive profit. Okay, so what that means is if Q2 is less than 12, then in that case, the best response lies in this region. You know, it lies in so basically then you can just choose q1 in this interval is that okay so it's like choosing a best response in this interval is like choosing the best in best uh, uh q1 in the entire on the entire real line the reason is because for q1 greater than 12 minus q2 the revenue will be zero okay and between zero and 12 minus q2 the revenue will be positive okay so, is that fine okay now this is something that you can easily do you know you can either uh use close interval method or you can use the fact that this is actually a concave function of q1 okay since this is a concave function of q1 in this interval it will look like this Okay, provided there is a peak. So if there is no peak, it might look like this. 
okay uh, but you know you can uh, you can check that there'll be a peak okay so how do you check that there'll be a peak in this interval just take the derivative and set it equal to zero okay if you take the derivative and set it equal to zero uh, you'll find that there is a peak uh, you know there is a solution that is uh, sitting inside this interval okay so when you take the derivative and set it equal to zero what are we going to get 12 uh, can you all check that this is a concave function of q1 take the double derivative see that it is negative okay that's all that you have to do so it's concave in the entire interval so if it is concave in the entire interval and there is somewhere you know if somewhere the derivative is zero then it must be the uh because it's a continuous function in the in the interval right it's a continuous function uh, it's concave uh so uh, so basically the point which is local maximum will also be a global maximum okay so 12 so let's take the derivative and set it equal to zero so you're going to get 12 minus 2q1 minus q2 equal to zero okay so you're going to get what q1 equal to 12 minus q2 by 2 okay so you can see that this point actually lies in this interval because 12 minus q2 by 2 is exactly in the middle of this interval okay so what that means is uh that uh you know you uh you maximize your profit here okay uh so basically we actually ended up plotting the profit you know i mean if you if you really uh, want to plot the profit uh you know the profit looks like this because it's concave it will have this shape okay at zero the profit is zero at 12 minus q2 also the profit is zero and then after that the profit is zero as well okay so the graph of the profit looks like this okay so this is profit on the vertical axis and this is q1 on the horizontal axis and this point is 12 minus q2 okay and this point where it ma you maximize profit is 12 minus q2 by 2 okay so this is what you want to get okay so uh, basically you have only one best response in this case which is 12 minus q2 by 2 is that clear to everyone and similarly you can write br 2q1 okay which is r plus if q1 is greater than or equal to 12 okay and because it's a symmetric problem okay so you you don't have to write solve this again you can simply change the indices and write the best response function for player two so now if you want to find the nash equilibrium you have to plot the graph of br1 okay and then plot the graph of br2 and figure out their intersection okay that's all that you need to do okay and that's straightforward so let's just do that here q1 q2 okay so let me first plot uh, this okay uh, so if q2 is less than 12 q1 is 12 minus q2 by 2 okay uh, so q1 is 12 minus q2 by 2 so basically when q2 is 12 q1 is 0 um, and uh, and when q2 is 0 q1 is 6 so basically you're going to get a line like this is that okay and if q2 is greater than or equal to 12 so if q2 is greater than or equal to 12 then everything is the best response so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line like this okay and this this is something that i have to do for every point so what i'm going to do is instead of doing that i'm going to shade this region because that's part of the best response this entire region is this clear and i'm going to do the same thing for player two okay so you can check that player two uh for player two it's going to look like this okay and then we have okay so what is nash equilibrium in this case 
of course this is the one that you found okay but there are lots of nash equilibrium here okay so this is one nash equilibrium okay and these are other nash equilibrium okay these are also nash equilibrium is that okay so if you want to write the set of nash equilibrium so set of nash equilibrium is the intersection of these two graphs which consists of this point so how do you find this point well this is on the intersection of these two lines so you can easily find it so i hope you know how to find it i think you got it okay so it's four four okay and then union these points okay so what are these points q1 q2 such that q1 is greater than or equal to 12 and q2 is greater than or equal to 12 so this is q1 is greater than or equal to 12 and q2 is greater than or equal to 12 okay so you know i mean you have to be very very careful okay uh, you know if let's say there are four options and uh, three of the options are sitting here and one of the option is right here and let's say the fifth option is all of the above uh, you know then you should be clear that you know these are nash equilibrium or not okay so uh, uh, so it is possible that you know uh, there are some other nash equilibrium that are sitting and you know you you may uh, end up uh, you know not finding them if you just uh, you know just just ignore all this information you know so if you have you have to take into account the entire information you know that is given in the function to solve the problem okay so if you just pick this part just ignore this max you know i, I mean you may end up you know in a situation like this where uh, you know you may end up losing on these points which are also the nash equilibrium okay so just be careful okay